Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like to share to you my joy and gratefulness to the Lord of the celebration of the Queen Centennial Jubilee of the arrival of Christianity into the Philippines. The 500 years anniversary of Christianity in the Philippines. I am wearing this um, jacket with the map of the Philippines and our island is here in this part here, the easternmost part. By March 16, 1521, the explorer and the expedition of uh, Ferdinand Magellan arrived in the archipelago and they rested, went ashore in the island of Homonhon. Homonhon is part of the eastern side of the island of Samar. Uh, the whole island before was one diocese and the diocese of the, of the whole island and islets of Samar was called the Diocese of Kalbayog. And the Diocese of Kalbayog is in the western part of the island of Samar. And then, then it was divided and came out the Diocese of Burongan, which is the eastern part. And again, later on, another diocese was created, the northern part, the Diocese of Katarman. Now, speaking of the eastern part of the island of Samar is the Diocese of Borongan, 4,670 plus square kilometers in size and about 470 plus thousand uh, population. And at the tip most part of the diocese, the municipality of Giwan, the parish of Immaculate Conception, belongs the island of Homonhon, which is the parish of St. John the Baptist. In Homonhon was where Ferdinand Magellan and his expedition took refuge after many days or months in the sea so now they have found land and so they alighted and it is believed that the first mass in the archipelago was celebrated in the island of Homonhon. There is a continued debate for where the first mass is celebrated in the archipelago of the Philippines. Well, for me, debate as you may want. But the idea that there must have been mass celebrated in the island for three main reasons, of many other reasons. For me, first, the logic of the life of the priest. The life of the priest is to pray for people, so to celebrate mass. And I believe there were masses celebrated on board. Now, they have found shore, they have found land after many days. So they would, if there were priests, and there were priests with Ferdinand Magellan, there were priests um, with him. So the priest or priest would celebrate the mass there in the island, whether just with the crew of the expedition or already with some natives that they have found. If the idea is the validity that there would be celebration of the Mass by reason that if there was a priest on board or accompanying them, the priest will celebrate Mass. Second reason is it is March and March is already season of Lent, March 16th, already very much Lenten season a season which is a characteristic of a strong time for prayer and for other 
acts of faith in God to be said and celebrated. So it would be logical that there would be the Mass, even if it, there may not be any historical records. But the first Mass is celebrated in Homono. The third um, idea and reason, the reason of Thanksgiving, after many days of navigating at sea, and while at sea, the priests would celebrate Mass on board. Now, they are, they are on land, and they have found, so to say, rest after many days at, at sea. So now, they are in terra firma. They are in the firm ground. They would express their thanksgiving to God. They would express gratefulness to God. The Holy Eucharist is thanksgiving. So to say that there was no Mass celebrated in Homonhon since the expedition stayed there for a few days and to say that there was no Mass would be very much unthinkable. What? Debate as you may want, I would say. But history, I believe, is not recorded and made only by ink and pen. It is also recorded by the heart. They would have celebrated the Mass in as much as they have celebrated Masses on board the ship. I mentioned this part of the debate and my own take of the celebration of the first Mass and Masses, I would say, in the island of Omonhon is very important. It's very important to remember of the work of the work of God that he has done for the people of the Philippines, the people of the archipelago. It is his work that counts. It is not the work of historians that counts. Now, now I am making this video sharing as well because I would like to also share of the importance of this celebration for the Warainon people. Samar Island is where the people are called Warai, the Warai people, and their language Warai Warai, nothing, nothing, Warai. The importance to us, the Warainon, the Samarinyo, and the Samarinyo or the Warainon people of the eastern part, this gives us the honor God coming into our midst, the faith in Christ, to the 500 years. Now, looking back, seeing myself at present, and looking beyond of today, the idea of fruitfulness, the idea of fruitfulness in the faith, the idea of fruitfulness as a people, from one island, one diocese, has become three provinces, three dioceses. And in the uh, Diocese of Borongan, from few parishes to many parishes, mm. fruitfulness, many things has happened, many good things has come out. Of course, we cannot deny in these 500 years, there were bad things, there were good things. But I would want us rather yes. to anchor ourselves with the good because the good moves on. The bad is left behind. So with this fruitfulness, two things come to mind. First, the name of Samar. Samar Samad. The idea of Samar came from the word Samad which is wound and the ecclesiastical uh, coat of arms of the local church of the island of Samar in the three dioceses is with the five wounds Samad Samar Samad it is not a mark 
for us a defeat but a victory in Christ a victory from paganism to Christianity it's not also a mark of weakness but of strength and power in the faith with this idea that in Christ the people has been fruitful because of the idea as well of resilience resilient people you see the eastern part of the island of Sama many typhoons would come during the year we are the highway of the typhoon typhoons passes through the island especially of the eastern part and in that resiliency it is deeply rooted in the faith deeply rooted in their connection to God deeply rooted in their hope that God never sleeps and always provides always love and cares for them that in this celebration of the Queen centennial anniversary in the island let this be um, one reason of thanksgiving to God the idea of fruitfulness of resilience because of God's work in in the midst of his people the second idea of, of this fruitfulness the diocese of Borongan the province of Eastern Samar is fruitful because also the clue is from the word warai 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 nothing ang pagka nun, ang pagka mapainog sanon ang pagka nun, poverty ang pagka mapainog sanon humility you see it may be in the eyes of the world poverty and humility can be weakness but actually this is power before God in the Bible it says God chooses the nothing pubrihanon God chooses the poor lift them up God chooses the humble and exalts them and this is the fruitfulness of the faith from the island of Homonhon to the many parishes of the eastern Samar, the diocese of Borongan. The challenge is always there to be faithfully Catholic, to be faithfully Christian in behavior as well as in mentality. The 500 years of the faith is not only about the island of Homonhon. This is now about the entire Philippines since the entire Philippines has received the faith. So a moment of gratitude and a moment of glory to God our Father in the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior with the Holy Spirit that continually works in our hearts, in our lives because of the faith that we have in Christ as we celebrate this Queen Centennial Jubilee. The fruitfulness has been because of, of the mark of being Samar, Samad, which give us the quality and character of resilience as a people and the way we are characterized as the Warai people. This makes our faith and continually will be making our faith fruitful. People from all parishes of the Diocese of Borongan seek always that we may be faithfully Christian, faithfully Catholic, and faithfully taking honor from the works of God through the missionaries that came into the island and through the works of continued evangelization of our communities and of our families and lives in our time today. And so, happy Quincentennial Jubilee 
or happy 500 years anniversary of Christianity in the Philippines. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others.